Hey guys, we are going to do a Schmodown reaction. I'm not sure which one. Which one are we doing now? Um, I probably should have like pulled everything up beforehand, but I am just lacking everything today. Shire Wolves vs. World's Finest. And Anarchy Teams announced. Okay. Um... Definitely need to plug the shit in because this is dying. So we need to adjust. Alright, that should be fine. Um, I don't think I bet on this. I don't think I bet on any of these because I was super busy. But I think the Shire Wolves are going to. They're legendary. So. We're supposed to know this singer. I don't. I don't know who that is. the only four left? I just wanted to let you both know, as I'm sure you filled Tom in, that we will be playing a team match oh, next yeah. season. Oh yeah, be her and a partner or something. Yeah. yeah. No, next, next I don't think so, because uh, I have a partner. Of course it's me. Shire Wolves. Um, we talked it over, and your offer to join your faction next month, that's not really going to work for us. Listen, I totally understand. You guys have both been performing really no, 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 well. No, 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 no. We want to join you now. For our first match with the Shire Wolves, we know Clark Wolf knows her trivia. We know Rachel Cushy knows her trivia. How do they work as a team? And you're Our biggest thing today was to see how we played together, how we um, handled the pressure, how we navigated the questions, and honestly, I think we really kicked ass at that. Whatever it takes to get to that belt, we are going to earn it. Clark talked about hype. We know we have been hyped up by the fans, and we're excited that you know we pulled out a win today to live up to that hype. They have been, but they definitely deserve the hype. They are incredible. Rachel Cushing and Clark Wolf, part of the Fife Club, and then they're going up against two guys that watch Bloodsport and they're karate geese. Shire Wolves are gonna kick the living crap out of team action, those penny waist, nice dressed idiots. Shire Wolves for life. Who played Mr. Wilson in the 1993 live action film? <laughs> You saw Andrew's like, no. And the Shire Wolves! I said during my match with Sam, I am coming for the belt. And I wasn't kidding. Rachel and I are coming for the belts. We are the world's finest. What you know about it, you got your boy Black Man right Very here good. repping the Batman side of things. Got my boy E Zip. Well, I don't even know what's your what's your what's your 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 moniker. I don't even know. I can be Super Zip. Super Zip. You got Black Man and Super Zip out here just holding it down. Gonna need an answer. No answer. 
Carissa. That oh. means was... your winners are World's Finest. The answer was Carrie. And then you have World's Finest. They're hot now. They're like Kirsten Dunst in the vampire movie. They got a taste of blood. Mm. They beat the Kingsman, and now they want some more. We're new in the league. Kirsten Dunst is in a vampire Beating movie? track would mean everything to us. It would put us on the map skyrocket us to the top of the league, you know, really put us up against the big guns. And that's what we're here for. We're not here to mess around. We're here to save the day. And your winners, Eric and Winston! Wow. I'm gunning for McQueenie and Levine. I'm going for... Levine. Uh, wow. About the line. I mean, okay, we just faced the inner geekdom champion and beat him at his own game. I ain't scared of no champs. I'm gonna be the champ. He gonna be the champ. You ever used to watch WWE? Like, look, the Hardy Brothers took it to everybody. We the Hardy Brothers right now, right? I'm not saying they don't scare me, but I'm going after them because they scare me. Someone else would have to be a number one contender too. And then they just play their title shot. I think being unlimited means you have limitless options to express yourself. I feel like I have a crazy I think it's gonna be Rachel and, and oh so not Rachel and Sam. And I love just That'd be a crazy myself. team. How uh Rachel and Clark. For the team champion. That's right, Christian. Between us, we have two children, but I feel like everybody in the Schmodown is somebody that we person. care about deeply. And these two teams, they're vying for a chance at the almighty belt. The Shire Wolves come in as the favorite, but World's Finest, they are not doing too shabby right now either. No, World's Finest, it, this is a, a lot of people have been talking about Ethan Irwin and the Machine mm -hmm. for candidates, uh, Mark Donica for candidates of Rookie of the Year. World's Finest has right. to be in the talk because World's Finest, they are 2-0. and Eric Zipper having a pretty great year. One win, one loss in, in the in the Inner Geekdom division. But these guys have gotten themselves a position they could be battling for the championship and we don't have a championship champion team right now. No, you know why? Why is that? Because somebody's kicking back in Boca playing volleyball. That's absolutely right. Sam Levine has given up both championships. He's we know gone. That. And because of that, the we say that Mike Kalinowski causes chaos. Well, Sam Levine caused chaos by giving up both championships, and now we are looking for new champions. So what's going to happen here? Well, all we know is that the winner of this match will play for the championship. Against who? We don't know that yet. We don't know. They don't know. And the Shire Wolves said as much in the pregame interview. But again, this is the Shire Wolves. And I say that because that name we should strike fear in the heart of any opponent. Pre -game, World's yep. you, know, you said 2-0. and oh, They're playing very well. They have never seen a competition like what they're about to face here today. How are they possibly going to be able to handle that pressure, Christian? Well, that's what people said to them when it was about Trek. They not said, well, they're said not it gonna, again today. They said they're not going to be able to face Trek and beat Trek. And they did. They beat Trek in a very intense match. And they won it. And the Shire Wolves, these are two legends of the game with Clark Wolf, uh, who was the 2016 Rookie of the Year, and then Rachel Cushing, 2017 Rookie of the Year. These are very respected players. When they were announced to be a team, people would all, are they going to deliver? And they've delivered. They're 2-0. They beat the team formerly known as the Lions, then at Ken Napsok and um, Tom Dagnino. And then at the live event, they beat Team Action. This is a good team. World's <laughs> Finest has their work cut out for them today, and whoever wins will earn a shot at the championship. It's it's so impressive when you actually sit down and look at the resume of each individual Shire Wolf, whether it's Clark Wolf or Rachel Cushing, but then you're right, you put them together, and it's like the popular children's toy Voltron. For you adults out there, it's like when Hall and Oates get together, they make magic, so too the Shire Wolves. Will we see more here today? Well, speaking of magic, we're going to hear from both of the teams Here's as they girl. gear up for this number one contender match. I like to oh, nope. I think I've got like five revenge. or six of their songs. I went up against Rachel in the collision and she, uh, I don't want to say kicked my ass, but 
I didn't, it wasn't my strongest showing, but today is different. Today, it's not inner geekdom, it's general knowledge, and I've got some backup here. Yeah, today's about revenge for me too. I haven't been around in a while, and I'm back. Honestly, it's time for the Shire Wolves to take one step closer to getting those team belts, because God damn it. I would like to see Clark them. Everybody was and like, oh, Rachel in the free interview. Well, I saw all y'all commenting down in Facebook land and all that stuff. Oh, world's finest ain't got a shot in hell. World's finest is about to live long and prosper for about all of a match. Um, nah, nah, we came, we saw, we conquered. And now we gotta take out the Shire Wolves. I ain't scared of wolves. Come on, man, I got hella dogs. I ain't worried about that. We're gonna be three and oh, count on it. They crushed it at the live event. And if you're yes, able to perform under that kind of pressure, going up against Winston and Eric Zipper, they've barely been in this league. The Shire Wolves can absolutely take them down today on their journey to winning those team belts. Rachel Cushing, Clark Wolf. I mean, okay. Oh, thanks, Emma. These are your future champions right there here. I feel like people are still sleeping on us a little bit. Like, well, not you, Doug. I mean, everybody's like your rookie of the year over here. You know what I'm saying? Like, ah. he's handling his business. Like, if we win today, yeah, yeah. Ethan Irwin, please, whatever. If I produce movies, that no shit too. Oh, damn. So we know that Sam Levine and Drew McQueenie above the line are retired. Yeah. And that's, you know, a little disappointing. It is disappointing because both you and I came very close to taking the singles belt away from Sam, and I really wanted to take the team belts away from Sam. <laughs> so where is my score that I get to settle? Shower Wolves, you guys are toast. I respect you, Clark. I respect you, Rachel. You're super knowledgeable. But with some beer in him, no one can stop Winston. I love you, Eric. I love you, Winston. Uh, but you guys are just kind of in the way at this point. I'm sorry, guys, but if we took Team Action out to get to the belts, we're going to take you out, too. That's a fair point. I think Team Action would destroy World's Finest. But I could be wrong. World's Finest is very good. Uh -huh. The point with the Shire yeah. Wolves. Uh, Classy as always. And looking for a battle. And I think that the same thing can be said. World's Finest. Eric Zipper said it. He has some history here with Rachel Cushing. She handed him a defeat at the Collider Collision in the Inner Geekdom Division. But they're ready to get going. They're ready because he didn't have Winston. Winston is uh, for, for that particular event. Now, mm -hmm. he, now they work very well as a team. The Shire will work well as a team. Who will be the number one contenders after? I got a bigger burning question for you. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Would you rather have your first name be Winston or your last name be Zipper? Go. Um, I, what about Winston Zipper? Ah, no, it's cheating. No, it's too much for any one man to handle. That's why World's Finest is a team. They have their biggest test about to happen. Tale of the tape. Here is the World's Finest comic book movies. Denzel I'm not Washington sure if that was an insult or a compliment. Or a, bad, a bad Batman voice. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not the best I've ever seen. Um, and then we have the Shire Wolves. Horror movies. Oscar movies and obviously scaring you just by saying we're ready to play. They're good at everything. I feel I feel ready, Christian. I feel primped. I feel groomed. I got my fresh hat on that is mine and not yours. Well, I'm ready to get going. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia Schmoda. <laughs> Listen to that crowd. Three rounds for number one contender match. Introducing first. With a record of two wins, no defeats, Winston Marshall and Eric Zipper, who world's I'm already finest. tired, guys. I think I'm just going to do this one and go to bed. Zipper can see what's right in front of him. Will he be led to his space? Are you figuring it out okay? He has navigated it successfully. I like what this team has done so far this year. They've made a name for themselves and have the biggest winner of the career today. Does Winston still keep Alfred as a butler, or does the transfer ship of Alfred also go to Zipper? <laughs> I mean, it depends on if he's willing to do the voice. I heard what y'all said backstage. I didn't say anything. All right. No, no one said anything. I was two other guys. Nope. Oh, okay. And their opponents representing oh, man. the Oh, I Club love the show. With a record of two wins, no defeats, the 2016 Rookie of the Year, the 2017 Rookie of the Year, Classy Clark Wolf. The Crusher, Rachel Cushing, 
the Shirewolves! And the fight having a hell of a year as a manager, and there are the Shirewolves. Coming in, have not seen them since the live event. The biggest match of their team career so far here. They both have done very well in number one contenders matches, whether it's in singles, whether it's in inner heat, and they have done it well. And here we go as they shake in some hands. A lot of, no, no, no smack. This is not team action. No, this is a very classy event, and the ladies protected from all UV rays. Very important when you're under I'm the white hot what, spotlight of the movie. The Trivia. Schmodown. Mark, how does round number one work? In round number one, the team division, each competitor is going to hear eight questions. They are asked to the field, so you may not rely on your teammate to help you with answers just yet. It's up to you and you alone. That is why there are four whiteboards and four markers at the table. We're going to ask a question. Once you hear the question, please write down your best attempt at an answer. After 15 seconds, give or take, we're going to ask you to reveal your answer by name individually. When we do that, please show your whiteboard to the camera at the same time you verbalize your best attempt at an answer into the microphone. Each question is worth one point per person. Keep in mind, teams, there is no penalty for missing a question, and there is no stealing in round one. Every point that you accrue will add to your team's total as we venture eventually into round number two. All right, so with that said, Shirewolves, are you ready? Yes, ready. sir. And World's Finest, are you ready? Indeed. Hell yeah. Then let's get ready to schmodown. We're ready. All right, here we go. Question number one. Comedies. <laughs> Stop doing that. Comedies. <laughs> what song is supposed to activate Derek Zoolander to kill the prime minister of Malaysia in Zoolander? You know, uh, Zoolander 2. What yeah. song? Uh, made me not ever want to watch Zoolander 1. Have you ever had that happen? Yes, absolutely. Fine. I'm sitting next to you in that Four. movie. I hated it. Ooh, Great. It was bad. Two. One, pens down, please. Pens I don't know. down, zip. And Wolf. Relax. Correct. Zipper. Oh, didn't shit. Have it. Didn't have it. All right, Rachel. Relax, don't do it. And Winston. Yep. Relax, don't do it. Got it. Okay, two. Oh, one. my God. I Hollywood knew that. I've seen Zoolander once, but it was it years ago. And After by years ago, I mean probably one, three or four years ago. Action slash adventure. But I knew what that. What fake profession does Harry Tasker have? In the film True Lies. <laughs> See, I'm not getting mad at you for that. I didn't get you mad at you. you yeah. I just think you're more. Uh, Five. <laughs> four. That's not nice. Three. Can we edit that out? Two. That I don't know. One. Pens down. Uh, please. Detective. And zip. Teacher? Incorrect. Multiple Rachel. choice. Salesman? Salesman is correct. Uh, mm. I said insurance claimsman. No. It's not right. No. Yeah, I said computer programmer, but Ooh, he's a salesman, salesman for yes. computer salesman. Because I can hear Jamie Lee Curtis saying, yeah. you're a salesman for a computer company. So Rachel Cushing, <laughs> Rachel Cushing hits it, and it's 3-1. As we get to our next question, which is in the realm of Mr. Tom Hanks. Ooh, we like him. Yeah. Who played the wrongly convicted and sentenced John Coffey in the movie The Green Mile? You know, Tom Hanks, uh, regular viewer. I haven't seen it. That's uh, false. It's, some, it's, it's, it's a black Pumpkin guy, right? Can you imagine? Peter Pumpkin? Is five? <laughs> David Pumpkin. I'm going to feel really bad if it's not. <laughs> Two. I feel like I'm only One. thinking that because Pens Robot down, Chicken did and like a Michael clip Clark of it. You got it. Winston. I don't know who that is. Birthday. I'm going to feel Duncan. really uh, terrible. We share a Clark with an E. Michael Clark Duncan. <laughs> Zip. When I worked at a movie theater, I helped him find a lost jacket once. Michael oh, Clark Duncan. <laughs> right, there you go. Okay. Zip wins. Zip Got wins. A Michael Clark Duncan story of varying levels of interest. <laughs> next Your question. next question comes from the world of animated movies. Movies drawn by hand or on a computer. Your question is, in Monsters, Inc., what nickname does Sully give to the human girl? Is like Boo? Your, uh, your little ones. Isn't her real name like well, Tracy or something? Oh, my, my older one doesn't I don't think you ever find it out, Five, but I think. Four. Boo. Three. Did you do that karate? Just true. Repeat I the question. Think. Yep. In Monsters Inc., what nickname does Sully give to the human girl? I think that it says her name and one of her colorings uh, triple in, Five, um, in her bedroom at the end. Three. It is two. But one. Boo. Pens down, please. And Winston. They gave her the nickname that is also the same name of my favorite Medea movie, Boo. That's Ooh. correct. Clark. Cutest animated child maybe ever. Zip. Boo. Boo. And Rachel. 
Boo. Got it. Yay! I don't think Rachel has missed. Rachel has Michael not missed. Michael Clark Duncan okay. is the black guy. Don't and feel if bad anymore. If any competitor gets a perfect round one score, we do have a bonus question lined up. Christian? All right. Fantasy sci-fi. Fantasy sci-fi. Who plays the sugar water loving Edgar the Bug in Men in Black? Sugar water loving Edgar the Bug in Men in back, Black. Back to what an intent of father you are. I asked you what you thought. Well, the bug actually sugar inhabits a human man's like body. That's what it is. I figured they mean it's human fun. man, though. Well, I said third degree. Who? I just said it in my head. Four. Three, I can picture, but I don't know his name. Clark Wolf. Vincent D'Onofrio? You got it. So yeah, I did Vincent not. Vincent D'Onofrio. I Rachel. don't even recognize that name. Oh, hey, Winston. Dang it. Right. Didn't have it. All right. So, <laughs> <Kevin Clark. laughs> and Clark and Zip get it. 8 6. Whose Finally, real name is Hattis. Mary, this as shown briefly on one of the crayon uh, drawings that shows the perfect Sully. game usually doesn't end up that way. Yeah. That's our fault, Rachel. Mary Gibbs. Your next category is famous actors and actresses. Oh, the actress who provided the voice of Boo is Mary Anthony Gibbs. Hopkins appear together Very in nice. what Steven Spielberg film? Hmm. Anthony Hopkins in a Spielberg film. We'll see in a second. Yeah. Five, four, three, two. Repeat the question. One each. Javon Hunsu and Anthony Hopkins appear together in what Steven Spielberg film? And then the crowd broke for some reason. Five, four. I wrote the letter three, S. Two, one, pens down, and. Because I feel like it begins Amistad? with an S. Correct. Rachel. I'm a sad. Yep. I was wrong. Nope. Didn't have it. There's right. an S in it. Okay, so we have the Shirals, 10-7. The Shirals have used one JTE. World's Finest has used one. Okay, here we go. Next question. Horror slash thriller. What is the name of the monster in the Hellraiser film? I believe I challenge you to watch uh, uh, the lead character. Hellraiser? The lead character. The lead character. You watched this a couple months ago. How are you doing on that? Never seen no, Hellraiser. I know. That's why I knew, when I when I was reading it, I knew you were gonna have like five, four, three, avoid my question. Two, one. Pens down, please. Avoid my Clark. question, Mark. Pinhead? Yes, zip. Pinhead. Rachel. Pinhead. I ain't seen it, but I, I got it that. though. Pinhead. pinhead. Okay. Okay. Right. Nine. Three point lead for the wolves as we get into our last question around the You got one. Pinhead, which is my favorite Medea yeah. movie. Uh, your last question. <laughs> In round number one is a Patreon question. The following question comes from our Patreon supporter, Andrew Schick. Thank you, Andrew, for supporting our Patreon. Make sure you guys check out the movie, Trivia Schmodown. You Patreon. can tell when Clark like is Andrew focused. Schick did. I also love Because she always does that. On a personal note, Andrew Schick has a question he wants to ask in the world of dramas. Drama, and your question is, actor Shane West played the role of Landon Carter. In what film, based on a Nicholas Sparks novel? I love Shane West. We've had some fun I don't know of him in any other movie oh, than A Walk to Remember, Five, which is a four, Nicholas. Oh three, shit! I was two, I was too busy one. talking. Pens down. Winston, pens down. And a Walk to Remember. To <laughs> I mean, I was, a walk it's to not remember. right. I was gonna say Lock. the Lions game, but that's not what it it's is. Incorrect, yeah. Clark. Walk to Remember. That is like, correct. Zip. I walk scribbled over a Rachel. multiple walk times All right, so now because we I was busy discussing this movie. I love that movie. 14, 10. 14, Makes me cry every time. Mandy Moore is brilliant. Two. Mark, how does that work? And Shane West. Two, that is the only team, movie yes, I know he's in, and that is the reason why I love him. With your teammate. So During two points round two, for round you're going to hear six questions. From a movie Pretty trivia category, that category I get is two determined points in by one. a spin of the wheel of fate, destiny, perhaps justice. Whatever wedge that lands on, each question is worth two points. If you're not sure of the answer, you can ask us to provide you with multiple choice. We'll give you four options. One of them is the correct answer. The, the value of the question then goes down to one point. Keep in mind, competitors, there is stealing available yeah. in round number two. So... Shire Wolves and World's Finest. I'll remind both teams and competitors and everybody out there that this wheel is sponsored today. We have Hitchcock, Jim Henson, and for that, we have Nathan Ovendale to thank. Thank you, Nathan, for your sponsorship and your patronage of the Movie Trivia Schmodown Patreon. We also have another slice that is also a Patreon slice. That is Stanley Kubrick movies. Should we hit that mm. one? All right, giving you all a lot to think about with I the rolls, with the Patreon slices, Kubrick. and now, the question in a long goes time, to the as a category, would you like to spin first, or would you like to defer to your finest opponents? Like, actually, we're gonna go first, please. They're gonna spin first. Right, Act it on. Right up there. I don't always see everything that's on the wheel, but 
Clark's been, Clark um, has been amazing on the wheel this season. She's hit horror for the last couple of times. Yeah. There's some horrific categories yeah. in there that are straight horror, but also Stanley Kubrick. I yeah. think he's made a couple of horror pictures. Uh, certainly, uh, Alfred Hitchcock, well yeah. known for it. So, here we go. I think there was a horror movie in a Disney lineage oh, somewhere, right? Looks like it's here comes nine. 90s. Oh, oh that's Take exactly it. what they wanted. Oscar movies. They, yes, and they, they, they wanted, I knew they wanted to hit that. I was going to say, there's no way Oscar Rachel movies. would not All right, so you guys that. are going to get six questions in the realm of Oscars. I feel six like Rachel just studies the Academy Awards. Two points piece. Remember your steal. Remember your multiple choice. It's like she just seconds. goes back and watches all of them. For what movie did Tommy Lee Jones receive his first Oscar nomination? Five, four. Multiple choice. Is it A, Love Story, B, Coal Miner's Daughter, C, JFK, D, The Fugitive? The Fugitive? It's incorrect. The Fugitive? Incorrect. JFK. Damn. Yeah, I was going to guess JFK. All right, here's question, question number two. Like, after I guess For Fugitive. what movie has Martin Scorsese won his only Best Director Oscar? The Departed. Two points. Right. Oh, also I would not have guessed that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Departed. What is the only Spielberg film to have one of his actors win Best Actor at the Academy Awards? Yes. <laughs> Lincoln. Correct. For two points. Oh, yeah. shit. All right. Well on their way, Christian. All right. Question. I always forget about Lincoln. Oh, sorry. Four. Question four. As of 2018, what was Russell Crowe's last Oscar nomination? Five. Four. Three. Um, a Beautiful two. Mind? A beautiful no, that's mind. not right. Correct for two points. <gasps> They didn't want to go to multiple choices. That's the only one I could think of that he would be All right, so here's your last, nominated here's your last for an Oscar for, but it seems so long ago that it can't five. be right. This is five? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's number five. <laughs> number five. Michael Hazenvinicus. Good effort. Hazenvinicus. Hazenvinicus won Best Director <laughs> for directing which film? The Artist. Two points. She corrects you on the pronunciation. Yeah. She probably knows the answer. Last question in Oscars. How many Oscars right, did the, the Silence of the Lambs win? Three. Five. Love number four, questions. Three. I'm gonna go with three. Repeat the two. question. Number two. How many Oscars did The Silence of the Lambs win? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, multiple choice. I know it won best three, picture. B, four. C, Ooh. five. D, six. I don't want to go with three anymore. I want to go with four. Five. Four. I feel like. Three. Six. It's incorrect. <sighs> Five. One point steal. Damn it. All oh, right, they kind of used the information. If there's that, multiple uh, choice. Had whittled it down yeah. to, and they took the other one. For any sort of numbers, multiple whether multiple it's minus, years or quantities. Down by 11. They need a big spin here. They're either going to put themselves right back in it, or they could the just cripple themselves depending on which is almost they land never on. the right, right answer. The and the highest is almost spin. never the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that ice one for that looking right at the viewer <laughs> as if to say, hey, I know who's reacting to me out there, yeah, here we and go. I'm going to show you guys. So you're going to have to show us something if you want to get back in this match. World's finest. What are we landing on here? Oh, it's coming it back. It could be yes. opponent's choice, Christian Bucky or No, it hits comic and movies. That they is want it. <laughs> they love it. That's their strength. <laughs> that is big. That is big. Sit my black ass down. Yes. Comic book movies, please. <laughs> that is big. That is uh, very yep. big now. Yep. There is nothing about Eric and Winston to indicate that they would like the category of comic book movies, <laughs> no. but we're going to assume that they're going to be just fine in this category. Your first question of six in this slate, who plays the role of Nebula in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? I don't know Karen who Gillen. Is. Two, Two points. points. Yeah. Okay. No I don't know her name. Necessary. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks, everyone. All right, next question. Thank Your you. next question. In Batman 1989, what does the mob boss Grissom remind Jack Napier to bring with him? 1989 Batman. Five. I didn't mm -hmm. see it. I don't know. Can we get a repeat, Three. please? That's sure. Second one. In Batman 1989, what does mob boss mm -hmm. Grissom remind Jack Napier to bring with him? It's probably something strange. So it would be like, him? bring the um, shovel with please. you. Is it A, his smile? B, his lucky deck? Of cards. Wouldn't be C, a gun. His lucky hat. Or D, a gun. I feel like Lucky would make one of the lucky ones, but I want to go his smile because that sounds his really smile. devious. That is incorrect. Don't forget 
You're lucky, Dad. Yes! Uh, that's <laughs> one point. Steal from the Shire Wolves. Ten points Making up now. Jack Pounds I would have said lucky hat. Wolf of Shire Wolves. Your next question. <laughs> if it wasn't for the... In this round. In his Iron smile. Man 2, who has a small cameo as news reporter Chess Roberts? And you are my number one. My guy. Come on. <laughs> I am so proud of you. Thank you so many different reasons. Five. Four. Three. Stanley. Two points. Wow. Nice pull by Winston. Yeah. All right. All right. Two more questions left. I was like, I don't know. Your next question. I haven't, I've seen that movie once or twice. Left. Ages ago. <laughs> Counting's not a strong suit today. No, it's not. It's Ed is rush. Right. <laughs> Reminder. <laughs> Third degree. Your next question. Fourth in this round. The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen stars Sean Connery. As which iconic literary adventurer? Um, Captain, Five, is it the one from Moby Dick? Kevin Nemo or Multiple something? Choice. I don't know. A, Alan Quartermain. Yes. <laughs> one, point. No. one point. I don't know. I was trying to think of a literary adventurer. <laughs> I could picture him. I could picture, picture the movie poster question. right now for the movie. The comic and he's just movies. sitting there in his hat. What was the subtitle? to the second Alien vs. Predator film. Requiem. Two points. Two points! All right, last question here. Climbing the way back in this one, Christian. Your last question. Who plays pickpocket car and the co-lead to Chow Yun-Fat in the movie Bulletproof Monk? I've never heard of that. We calling that a comic book movie? Five, four, three. Probably it is. Two. Multiple choice, please. Is it A, Joseph Gordon Levitt, B, Sean William Scott, C, Jason Biggs, or D, Jason Jonathan Biggs. Reese Myers? It's the only one without three names. If it's not Jason Five. Biggs, uh, I don't know. Sean uh, William Sean Scott. Scott. For one point. All right, ah, so nice yeah. little fight there for World's Finest. Only down by four here going into round number three. It's 23-19. The Shire Wolves do have the lead, a lead they've maintained so far for the entire match. But now we have... Round number three, Mark, how does it work? In round number three, the Shire Wolves find themselves up four points. So they are going to give us your series of numbers that range from one to 21st. We're going to get that from both teams. Eventually, whatever your lucky numbers are, those are going to correspond to a different category up here at our answer desk. Your first question is worth two points. The next one, three points. The last question is worth five points. This is the team format. So once we tell you the category of the two-point question, the team will have to consult with each other as to who is going to answer that question solo. You may not consult with your teammate on the two-point question. The opposite teammate will then answer the three-point question by themselves. You can only confer with your teammate for the five-point question. Should we make it that far? Without further ado, Rachel and Clark, we need your three lucky numbers from 1 to 20. 4, 12, 19. 4, 12, and 19 for the Wolves and World's Finest. I am just going to take 19. <laughs> 6. 6. Uh, 10. 10. And 13. All right, 6, 10, and 13 for World's Finest. They will be up first trying to avoid the TKO here as we get to category number 6. Category number 6. That would be in the realm of... Romantic comedies, Christian. Romantic comedies. All right, who wants to take romantic comedies? He's good at romantic comedies, romantic I think. Here come the glasses. Here we go. Who directed 2011's Bridesmaids? Don't know who directed it. I love it. I think it was hilarious. Okay, I know Christian would have it. Five, four, three, two. Is that Apatow? It's incorrect. Paul, Paul Feig. That's right. It is. So it is now, something Judd Apatow would direct, though. They're in a position now where they have to hit their three and their five. They have to hit their five, but their three and the five. Here we go. So you guys now <laughs> you have number 10. Number 10. And that would be in the realm of comic book movies. Cool. Yay! Comic book movies. Hey, he's wearing a Batman. I don't know if All you right. saw that. Comic books. Are those like regular books? All right, here you Except go. Except better. Here's your three-pointer. Here's your three-pointer. In what comic book film will you find the quote, you know in the future if you're going to steal cars, don't dress like a car thief? Comic book movie where someone steals cars. Amazing Spider-Man. 
answer. Mm. Now we are down to the five pointer. They can take the lead would, and throw it back to like the Shire Wolves. If I had really thought about it, it, I would have guessed. If they it. don't hit it, the Shire Wolves will win via TKO and we playing for the championship. And you would get really loud with your voice if they don't get this question right. Is that correct? That's correct, but they have a chance to collaborate this time with their five pointer. Here we go. Dramas. <gasps> Dramas is the category. Gentlemen, you can confer here. Here's your question. In Argo, at what nation's embassy do the six escaped hostages hide out? Oh. Um. Five. Four. Can we get a repeat? Is it, last one. In Argo, is it Saudi at Arabia? what nation's embassy do the six escaped hostages hide out? Because they're trying to escape, or are they trying to escape Saudi Five, Arabia? Four. Three, it's somewhere in the Middle uh, the East. English though. embassy. And your winners! By way of technical podcast and the number one Oh, they mean someone. Uh, in order to escape, they would have to hide in someone that's not the United States embassy within the country they were trying to escape. I was thinking like the other, like the U.S.'s. Embassy in, in a different country. I don't know why I would think that. That was stupid. Look, you have All right. Rachel Cushing going to be playing. Fire Wolves, I got six points. World's finest, I got four. And then Draco playing oh. in a couple of uh, in just about a week. Not very here. eventful, so guys. So what a run by the Five Club and who they play, who the Shire Wolves are playing for the championship. We don't know. There's so so much up in the air right now. But we're going to talk to Brianne Chandler because thank you to our patrons. This is a Patreon. You guys, the Patreon exclusive match. We love our Patreon. Thank you so much. Yes. You go to the movie trivia show at Patreon. Here's what you do. Your Patreon. This isn't a Patreon exclusive match. Tell your friends. Tell everybody. Tell your kids. I tell came your out early for the Patreon. Her, I miss her. Yeah, the Patreon's not an exclusive, but patrons get it there you go. early before everyone else. They're seeing this first. And Hi, Grandma. You guys get this, and now we're going to talk to Brianne Chandler, who is with both. Didn't the pay enough though. So. And the Shirels. Here we go. What's up, movie trivia Which showdown fine, fans and patrons? I'm Brianne here I, with yeah, the second place more. finishers, world's finest guys. Round one, not so bad, not so bad. You guys were down about four points. Round two, same thing. Round three, that's where the trouble started. Yeah, Tell me we, about uh, that. We shit the bed, as Mark so eloquently put it. Uh, and it, what didn't feel great? It, you know that the shitty part was literally, no pun intended, was the fact that I knew his question, he knew mine. It was one of those weird things where it was like, damn, we just didn't pick, you know what? You took my number, I took your number. That was probably the problem. That's probably what it is. That's, that's, how it is. that's definitely the problem. Superstition. Do you have any other superstitions that you have when you go into matches? Oh, I love Brian. Switching shirts was, was a bad, bad idea. That was a bad plan. That was a terrible plan. Uh, that might have something to do with it. So that was I helpful. noticed that. I could, you know, I could see fine. So that was just bad all around. We've only lost when I was wearing a Batman shirt. So that's probably what it is. And I was wearing a Superman shirt. Makes sense, yeah. Now, <laughs> Personally, when I have competed before, if I lose to I'm someone, so I feel really good when they're going to go for the title shot. How do you guys feel about Shire Wolves going for a title shot right now? I'm just going to say they got to win. Y'all got to win. Otherwise, I'm going to feel real shitty. So, like, win. That's it. You know? Good, good luck, ladies. Having now handed over both of my losses to Rachel Cushing, I want her to get that belt so I can take it from her someday. Whoa, whoa. Oh, my boy Sim still got that fire. He still got that fire, though. Okay, so now, what would you guys like to do next? Uh, I'm going to tell you all right now, I know you run the Patreon, right? I run that Patreon. You run all that, right? Yeah, she, I got an exclusive for y'all. She I'm kills it. I'm Jay Washington, brother. We gonna do a black movie trivia schmodown. I know Black History Month is in February and it's like August right now. It's not important. What I'm trying to say is round two ain't no wheel. Is we each get six black movie questions. The rest could be regular schmodown. I don't care, but I'm calling you out, brother. Let's see what's going down. And I will watch. I will watch as well, and I'm very excited about it. Thank you, World's Finest. That could be like and a Patreon exclusive the match. Yeah. Finishers today, the Shire Wolves. Ladies, 3-0 and oh now. Oh my goodness. How are you feeling? That'd be a good way because now everyone's hyped up for that match. Victory. Felt really good and the, the only way they get it is if they're a great match. But we pulled out the win and we're ready to see what happens next. 
what does happen next. Emma, you want to tell us what happens next? Well, I mean, you know, this is just another natural step on the Shire Wolves journey to becoming the next team champions. They were going to do it one way or another, but as we said in the pre-interview, our big competition was above the line and they're no more. So the way I see it, these ladies are basically already the champions. Oh, I love All right. that. Basically already the champions. How are you guys feeling? Out. Round one coming out of that with four points ahead. I don't know who they would compete Save against. Round two. So how is that for a buffer for you? How do you feel about that, Clark? Because the Patriots like are no more. Match. You know, Rachel and I were focused um, and we were doing our best to work together. Team and action, I feel like, would be the next I best. I round one is the most important. I think it's one of the but, most important, I mean, not the most important round. Um, and, you know, 10, like I've been maybe? saying over the last handful of months, like, I'm. I, I want a belt. I'm ready for a belt. We are driven. We are. We have our. We're. We're in laser focus mode. Like we're ready to go. And I think. I feel the, like top ten could I compete the with them. Is gonna be it. So, I think the Shire Wolves could still playing, beat. I. I think Rachel top and I are ten, I think you're ready too, and I I'm think you do think. have that great laser focus with teams. Rachel with Inner Geekdom. How are you feeling about Inner Geekdom? I feel awesome. I've played two incredible matches. I feel like I'm on a roll. I'm, I'm really trying to think. Mara Knopic because I think she's a new fan favorite, and I'm so excited she's part of the league. But she's in my way to the finals, and then onto that. That match uh, is going to be really good, Rachel Jason. and so, Mara. Yeah, I'm feeling really good. I don't even know because focus. I want to. Like Rachel Clark for me is the energy them Geekdom. queen. Um, and Jason Inman and Rachel Cushing Going into like, the title destroy match, that league. Words, Emma, for the Five Club. But then Just, you know. Clark and Rachel bring out I the look at like in each other and so as long as they can Mara play as who is they have and really answering team, questions I think their strengths like really no big deal another, and they're so she could, supportive of each other, and for each other that's how the whole fight I don't know is. so there's no way that we are not going to see this journey through to the Either end way, it'll it be is good time one. for these ladies to win those belts it's definitely it time for ladies very... to win this belt am I right yeah it is very much time yet, but Actually, For someone I don't know who you're playing. People have been wondering. They've been wondering what I'm going to do with this. And I made my decision. I want a woman to have a belt in this league. Not one that I designed and I, you know, came up with. But one that's officially for the league. And I'm going to be selfless. And I'm going to go against you guys. So that way it could be me or it could be you guys. Okay. How Wait, do you feel about that challenge? So I just mean, I think Brienne this is pretty much... I don't think any of us are surprised. No. I, I think this is, and you know, I don't I'm think surprised. any of us are scared. And I didn't I know think that Brianna you and I do have that. a little bit of history in the ring. Sure. Uh, and, uh, you know, I I take the challenge seriously, but I think Rachel So does Brian have a partner? More than ready. I'm more than ready, too, even though you don't know who my partner is yet. Right okay. now, it's just me, Jesus, and a cardboard cutout of Michael Jackson in backstage. But I'm forming a faction. That's what's happening. So August 14th, let's do this. We'll I don't mean to yawn like I'm bored. That's very well, exciting. That. I'm I thrilled. Mean, we I'm knew she was going to use it eventually. She used it in the, in the post morning, interview. Brianne Chandler cashes in love on it, her Brianne. free for all victory, challenges the Shire Wolves I to the title it. match. They will be playing here on August 14th for the team oh champions. We will find out who the new team champions will be on that day. Will it be the Shire Wolves or that's Brianne a week Chandler from yesterday. and her new partner? Yeah, that's the big what? question. Who's the partner again? Is she going to fly with me back in from Boca? I mean, what's going to happen? Who is going to be her teammate? And then which opponent is going to take the team title belt? This just got even more chaotic. And oh. I'm say this world's finest i enjoy them as entertainers i enjoy them as question answers as comic book fans i think that they adjudicated themselves very nicely today against the hottest of competition Wait. they had a great first round they had a great second round and then sometimes it happens you shit just, the bed you no, that's not nice <laughs> you, you get you get a you get three questions yep. that just wasn't in their wheelhouse so maybe, maybe they'll reverse, adjust my question so i'm not going to ask knows, it yet but okay just kidding i'm going to ask it if they're doing that championship match on Tuesday. I'm pretty sure that's before the ultimate schmodown starts. So the ultimate schmodown. And I'm assuming that Rachel and Clark are both in the mix. I, I think. I, th I already glanced at the teams. They came up on my Facebook feed. So this reaction won't be a whole lot very new. A whole lot very new. Um, a lot of this reaction won't be very new. Because I already assume. And I'm pretty sure I saw Rachel's name in there. So what if Rachel gets the title shot. 
and she still had, or like, what if Rachel gets the title with Clark? So Shire Wolves are the champions, but Rachel is already in a different team in the team league or in the team tournament. And the winner of the tournament plays the champion. I'm confused how this is going to work. Oh, why are they so stubborn? So come back. We will be back playing again. But and it's the Shire Wolves. Stubborn, I mean, Brian Chandler chaotic. And her mystery Thank partner. You. But the other thing to be noted is that now. I wonder who her partner's going to be. Is she Clark just going to pick a a the random partner that she gets? Shot of a championship. And we're going to have Brian Chandler's first shot at a championship, as well as her mystery mm -hmm. partner's maybe first part shot as a championship. We don't know. What an interesting match. We will have new champions. So tired. Come that day. Who's your money on as far as the... Uh, I don't know who Brian Chandler's part I'm going. I'm going Dark Horse. I'm going off the board. It's going to be a woman. That's my yeah, guess. I back. have nothing to back that up with. It'd be interesting, but it was I think it'll be a all woman. the competitors here. Because she wants um, a woman as a belt. Looking forward to that title match. That's what um, everyone has been saying. She wants that who would be, belt. She's got a shot here, and so does Rachel Cushing. Who's like, and the Fife Club is She wouldn't have Stacey come back. Here we go again, because now already Cushing abandoned her really for Jay. Quick here has when she should have stayed with her. Three. And then Ethan Mara and Andreco go head to head in a number one contender match. So the be fight club is partner. hot right now. That's Ooh. right. And like you said, the outcome of this match is the Shark Wolves get a title shot, and you have a shot. I don't know how she is in normal league. See what it did there? Okay. Check that out wherever you get podcasts. Check out the movie trivia. Show down Facebook. Wonder... Has to be a member. They'll let you in, say some nice things about us. And last but not least, check out the movie trivia showdown Patreon if you are not already a supporter. If you are, we love you. Take care of you. I hope that they explain it. It was an interesting thing. Here. A room with two people in it. I feel like there's something in my eye. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired, guys. What's up, Schmodown fans? Frank here, and it is time for your Frankie. Schmodown break. You're great. Keep it up. Maybe I'll look at the steps in later. In but three matches now, their season accuracy rates are not something that I religiously that remember. Is so. in the division among teams with two or more matches this year. As for World's Finest, the answer is 16 of 27 for 59% correct. It's an 8% drop from their last match, and their season accuracy is now at 67%. If you want to find out all the stats about this match and from around the league, check out That's a very good job. Stats on Twitter. And That's something I would love to do. I'm very good at stats. Every Saturday on YouTube and the Collider Factory podcast feed. This has been your Schmo Down Breakdown. Hey there, movie trivia Schmodown fans. It's your commissioner, Thad Williams, and I'm here to announce the teams Not my commissioner. for the ultimate Schmodown Christian team my anarchy tournament. As was announced at Collider Collision, the teams are being all split up, and in the anarchy tournament, we're going to repair teams with managers. We have a few new managers that have agreed to manage these new factions during the team anarchy tournament, and it's going to be a lot new of fun. Factions. I'm really excited for this, so I'm going to be pulling names out of this hat pairing them with a manager and they will compete as a team in the tournament so pairing let's them with a manager oh, oh, oh. <laughs> let me stop you right there hey buddy what's going on here what are you doing i i, I was just i was just uh, getting everything set oh up oh my to, god everything set up to not the teams by yourself here no 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 no, no. i was, no wait, I was, eyes on I was you. waiting for no Were you? yeah yeah Were yeah, you? yeah yeah i didn't hear a phone call or a text that i was supposed to be here i just assumed you knew i you just you assumed i knew yeah you look a little nervous what's wrong not nervous at all? No, okay, so I'm just going to be here as an observer, <laughs> casual Thank observer. You. I just want to make sure everything is copacetic. Believe um, me. I want it all I above the idea. line. I do, too. That's one team that's not going to be around any longer, is it? I, I see what you did there. You see all that? right, it's yeah. Fun. All right. Ready? Yeah. I'm. Thank you. Okay. They're already not yeah. around. We're going to do this. They're Let's already done. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Our first team <clears throat> is going to be Mighty Matt Nost. And let's it, like, see. Mm -hmm. Ooh, William Bibiani. Oh, oh, oh. All right. That'll be a good well, one. There we go already. I guess. Uh, a good start. Yeah, I guess the uh, the. That the looks fine. Officially broken up, oh, and their there. manager is none other than the Fife Club champion, Miss ah, Emma Fife. So Emma that, Fife is going to have to manage William Bibiani and Matt Nose. She can do that. Good luck to you. I think so, she uh, likes uh, Matt Nose, right. at least. Yeah. Wow. And I'm pretty sure she likes Bibs. Wow. All right, uh, let's go with team number two. Um, this is a very big hat. Uh, all right. This and is just for the tournament, right? It's not like permanently. He's back, guys. Yodi Riley. Uh, Mark Yodi Riley uh, is in the tournament. And, and he gets like Bateman, I think. That's the only one that I remembered. 
my favorite guy. <laughs> ben the Bomb that, Bateman. Mark, I wish you all the beef. best. Uh, if, uh, if Ben doesn't make it, that's quite okay with me. Uh, and, oh, God damn it. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm got it. Uh, didn't want to cuss in this. Uh, and How is manager. he drawing managers? I'm sorry, or is he Mark. just lining uh, them up? Managers, Tom Dagnino. Oh, 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 oh. I, oh, I'm loving it already. I, Aren't you loving this? I, I mean, it's going to be entertaining. You're sweating. What's going on? I, well, Put yourself together, man. Come on. Jesus. Okay. Uh, oh, dear. Um, all right. Uh, Devon Stewart. You know Devon. He's in the Kingsman. You know sure. Devon is in the yeah, tournament? Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> He's gonna be paired with, ooh, Miss Movies herself, uh, Brianne Chandler. Good old Miss Movies. Yes. Now, uh, a note about this. Yes. Just so you're okay, clear Are you with this. Giving me notes. I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure that you're okay with this. All right. If Brianne and her mystery teammate. Yes. Are you the Are you the mystery teammate? No one tells me anything. If Bri on, okay, if Brianne and her teammates... She wants the women have a belt, but I mean, if correct. for the team title, then she, she wins, will not then... compete in the tournament, neither will her partner. So she is using her win in free for all to do this. And then she'll be if she wins, she's taken out. If if she wins if she wins the belt, yes. then she will yes. not have to compete in the tournament. Mike, she you should will, be okay with that because assume, anything else won't make sense. Of the tournament later as part of the winning team. Fair enough. Does that, Fair enough. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. Continue. Uh, so they're so they, they get a manager. Oh yes. Oh because if she wins Markia McCarty. That's gonna be interesting. A lot of time people in this might be first time managers, so it's gonna be interesting yeah. to see how they're And that's uh, uh, yeah, Markia was you know Viper Squad yeah. Brand. Yeah she's, she's a, Viper a, Squad I, for yeah, you know Misfit. Okay. Are they still even a thing? No not even no, it doesn't matter. They shouldn't Continue. be. <clears throat> so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, no you're not bad. <laughs> Janine the machine Speaking of. All right. Speaking all right. Of. All right. There's poor Viper Squad members. <clears throat> I'm. Uh, please don't be anything bad. Oh, okay. Oh, Ethan Irwin. Ah, Ethan that, Irwin. That Janine and Ethan Irwin That's together. All right. Uh, and their manager is. Jay Washington. Is he even still okay, on he'll be Rogan? fine. Yes. And yeah, he why to, wouldn't he be? He gets to continue managing Janine. It's going to be it, like. He'll, no, he'll no, like that. He likes Janine. I'm just, uh, I'm just glad that Jay's well, I mean, it's my his. Ass. Uh, at least not about his member, yeah. but um, ooh, someone you're familiar with, Mr. Oh. Mike Kalinowski. Oh, how'd that get in there? Yeah. Oh, interesting. All right, uh, I guess Mike, I'm playing. You yes. Oh, uh, let's be surprised. Let's see who your teammate is. Is he really Please surprised? Be my name. Oh my God. Who could it uh, be? Ch Chance Ellison. Who? Who the hell? The hell is this? Who the hell is Chance Ellison? What are you talking about? Did you put that in there? I didn't put this in there. This is your What are you talking about? What? I don't even know who this guy is. This is ridiculous. You, are you out of your? Do you want me to? Do do want me to, to no, I don't want you to do it. What? I don't want you to do this. Look at this, this whole thing. Now it's erroneous. Erroneous. All of this. I got some competitor we've never even met before, I, and I'm going to go into this tournament without him. I, I don't even know who he is. No one even knows. He doesn't even know if he knows movies. Weird. Anarchy. I can, I can redo it if you want. I can put his name back in the hat. No one needs to. We can just edit this out. I'm fine. You sure? I'm fine. Let's continue. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. He's acting, uh, and it's yeah, like someone that. With He's Chance buddies Ellison with or something? Is, um, what is Hapsen? going on? Okay. You all right with that? Does that work for you? Mike should be a knight of Ken. Yeah, that's how this Correct. Game works. Correct. You do because then. I, I, this is, we're fair. Yes. We're above board. Yes. And you and I are professionals. Oh, the managers so, are absolutely. in yellow. You're eye to eye. You, you, Ken, and Chance and Ellison are going to be a team together. I'll take a chance. Pat is like split up or right something. That's smart. Continue, please. Right. I mean, we don't need to be here all day. Yeah, no, it's going to be a very not. long time. All right. <clears throat> okay. Ah, the uh, Insnider, Jeff Snyder. Ah. The he's in there. Former champion. Yes. Um, a man I've never faced on the table. Well, you might have the opportunity yes, to. Sir. His partner, Mark Andrako. Yes! yes! Oh. I think Jeff finally Who woke said up from yes? the yes. map he's had since collision. Yes, I haven't heard from him in months. I know was that Jeff that was happy? Oh, oh no. Oh, you shut your mouth. Roxy Stryer has to deal with Snyder. You shut your mouth. Uh, Roxy, I... That was the girl from the league, wasn't it? Ms. Stryer, you're going to come back to this? I was going to say, yeah. Come back to this, Ms. Stryer? That was okay. Okay. Mike's friend Good that never you, showed up. Uh, Mark is a is a mensch, if that's any consolation. Hmm. Um, all right. All right. Everyone that's in the hat, hat, are they there? I, like, in the crowd? We're moving on. We're moving on. Okay. Hey, it's my good buddy. Hey. It's my good buddy, Josh McCougan. He's going to just come up. He's going to dance. He's going to drink. It's going to be a party. I mean, who's going to get his buddy? Josh McCougan. Who could it be? 
Someone could be feeding him these from the table. We have to let it stand. We have to. Uh, Elliot, do you the wild berries are the still wild together? Are They're still together. You know, I'm glad something like that Who's happened. managing them? I'm really glad. Break up. Yep. People, it's the mother effing wild berries. You notice, you know, people in the comments are saying, like, well, I love this team. I love that team. You're breaking it up. We're not breaking up. It's fair and it's random. It's what happens, happens. We can have power new, teams in there. We got new that teams happen. And their manager oh, is Ricky Hayberg. Has he even been around? I don't even know where he is anymore. I, 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 no I one does. Ricky, while, like, disappears every now and, now and then. But, uh, Ricky Hayberg. This time or something, he's in the dumpster. Out I'm trying to figure out who's going to try. That, that would make sense. Hey, well. When they compete, well, I don't know. Out. The wild, we'll the the wild berries are still together, That's and that makes my heart I like that. a little bit, a little bit better. How many of I'm these are there? Do I need to restart my reaction? Uh, all right, next up. <clears throat> oh my gosh, there's still another 15 minutes. I'm gonna have to stop my reaction. I'm gonna have to restart it. Oh, this is exhausting. Yeah, see, this still had another. It only it has. Less than four. I had less than four minutes left until I was gonna have to restart it anyway, and this already has another 18 minutes to go, and I'm so tired. Can we just speed this up? Like, do the drawing and post the results or something. I don't know. No, that's not as eventful. This is fun. Okay. Andrew guy. I'm just tired. Who has oh, to deal boy. with this? I, I have nothing to say about well, this. This is going to be a good one. Uh, a lot of people are suggesting, are throwing out what they hope to go with her. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! R Rachel Cushing? I'm so sorry, Rachel. Wow. You want to talk about two? I mean, there's a silver on the opposite uh, sides of the spectrum. Uh, but there's a there's a silver lining here. If Rachel, if the Shire Wolves the win Shire the belt, win, she then Rachel compete. won't be in the, ah, in the tournament. And yes. So so more. Uh, so then we would have a to. bigger reason for you to win the belt, Rachel, is then you don't have to work with Andrew Guy. Motivation. So basically, right. in order right for this here, to I work, Clark your manager has is... to be in the tournament. Oh God, oh. I didn't. And Brienne's partner has to Robert be. Robert Meyer Burnett, uh, he's back. He's All gonna right. man. He's gonna manage a team. I mean, if there's anyone that has a mouthpiece, that's that guy. It's Robert Meyer Burnett. So uh, that guy maybe who just Robert can teach Andrew how to shut up once in a while. That would be nice. Um, no way. Yeah. Interesting, interesting pairing so far. Robert yeah. is the last guy who can teach anyone to shut up. Winston Marshall from oh. the World's Finest. World's okay, Finest, yes, yes, yes. Winston. From the World's Finest. With the zippity doo Yeah. They were teammates. Yeah. With yeah. Zipper. Uh, with, ooh, with sa sta Sassy Stacy Howard. Ah, a very underrated competitor. Very underrated. I, People sleep on her. She's she's strong. That's going to be a good match. She's very she's strong. A, she beat Mark She's House. a very good competitor. Uh, all right. I and just, they're... Uh, they're I think that she deserves all the money. Oh, Andrew! Like that she, oh, Koi's Koi Jandrew, no, Koi I think that's he'd be a good okay. manager. All right, that's interesting. Um, that's very interesting. In terms of Stacey. Uh, Koi, Koi is a manager I think outside that of she gets, I, I think mean, that she gets a lot more hype than people realize. I'm sorry, continue. And she deserves that hype. I should be doing side commentary. You're doing great. Uh, You're doing great. Now, all right, uh, next up. Ooh, I heard about this one. New competitor, Mark Edward Hook, otherwise known as the movie geek from Beat the Geeks. I used to watch that as a kid. The name came out and was folded out. It looked like Mark Howard Duck. No, 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 no. It's not Howard the Duck. It's not Howard the Duck. Mark Howard the Duck. It's not Howard the Duck. He's very smart. He's very knowledgeable in movies. Oh, classic. Oh, speaking of knowledgeable movies, Whitney Seibel. Oh. The two of them are going to be. His name floats around a lot. I don't see him compete very often, but his name floats around. Whitney? Let's see what happens. Yeah. He's part of Critically Acclaimed. I don't think he's ever done a single. Ah, your buddy Johnny LaQuasta. Oh, wait. So we've had Roxy, and now we have Johnny in this. Yeah. This little thing we got going on here. They don't want to ever have anything to do with this. They when I was to, in this before they, they teamed they, up. They okay. volunteered to manage. We got a little name named. Uh, we got a sausage king in there named Adam Gertler. Maybe uh, fooling around. Say, Let's find out. That's, those, Adam those sausages are really tasty. They are. Um, all right. That's good. This is good. Uh, mm. All right. We're getting we're getting down to the wire. <clears throat> Next up, uh, Eric Zipper. You're familiar. I am. Yep. Yeah, Eric Zipper. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, he did. He did. Inner geekdom. It, well, we will see what More it's like in, yes, with will. his new partner. Yes. Ooh, ooh, a rising star, oh. Haley Fouch. Haley Fouch from uh, the Scream Queens. Yes, yes, Haley. That's you know quite the pairing, quite the pairing. And ooh, this is the uh, this is the last manager. We 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 had more players oh, than wannabe be managers. Very so we had uh, we, we. This is the last one that gets a manager. They get Steel Saunders. 
from Steel Wars. He, he, he competed in the Star Wars Championship. Okay, yes, yes. Uh, and uh, his name is ready. He's, he's a superhero. Very, he's very funny. He's, he's, he's very energetic. Well, I, I, I think he'll be. So a, he's got to be funny to be a good manager? No, but I think he's, I no, think I, he's got a good energy. He's okay. going to bring a lot to the table. He's, he's going to right. pump them up. Okay, we're going to Okay, I think, I think they'll do well. Okay, all right. All right. You can be a great okay, manager so without being. So no managers going forward from this point. Everyone else is on their own. They do not have managers going into the tournament. Fair. Okay. Sorry, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Yes. I don't think and there are any managers left. Yes. Like the man's man. I'm back man. in it. That, it's, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that was, was, that, okay. was yeah. Yeah. that was very it's good. Mance. Like, hey, look at me, that movie release date. Is that guy? Movie release date. It was movie not anymore. Now, actually, technically, that's now Ben Bateman, from what Which I heard. Yeah, they signed a thing. Uh, 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 all right. Scott, so Scott Mance. It, like I said. Oh my, oh my gosh, this irks me because I love Scott Mance. Scott movie Mance. Mance man. Love the guy. I freaking, like, someone posted a comment on one of Emma's fi Emma Fife's tweets, and it was um, Scott yelling at the camera, Fife for life. And I was, I immediately just laughed and said out loud that I love Scott Mance. I love this guy. Ben Bateman should not just win a slice unless it is about that slice. If he had a movie release date match, only that, only questions about movie release dates. If he, it's like Iron Man match, only movie release dates. If he beat Scott then, yes, that's fine. Okay, go. You deserve it. Until then, no, absolutely not. That is a man slice. And we all know it. Even Mike knows it. So, so fuck you, Ben. <sighs> I almost just Chugger. broke my keyboard. That was such a okay. Fair enough. I think Scott has enough. Uh, I think Scott has enough energy for the both I of them. I think they do. And, uh, unfortunately, so no manager. Angry, no manager. So but interesting. I think Scott will be the mouthpiece because he's got a mouth on him. He's got a he's got a mouth. So what happens? All right. Love um, Better have yet to face. Yeah. Soon could be happening. Uh, any? Uh, we don't know what the I don't know what we'll the matchups are going to be. But point of this tournament. How there are, many uh, there are more? A few big names that have not been called out yet. So let's see what happens. How many more teams I am tight, but I want to watch this. I always hate this ad. They aren't even good dance moves. Like, I know you just Alonzo worked all your life for that. But. That's on the other side of big names that we haven't called out yet. I don't even know who that is, but... He's very, he's very good. He's very Which good. Is that? That's okay. We're gonna go on that. And Matt Ashley. Ah, you no, know, good that one I know. You know Matt Ashley. He's good. Yeah, uh, formerly of Modoc. Yes. Because um, the, the teams don't so are these exist. Yes. Permanent? What? Yeah, yeah. Exactly what All it is. right. So uh, so Matt, my Hawaiian this shirt wearing just... brother, uh, okay. and Alonzo Duralde are going to be a team together. That should be that should be. I a feel very like this should team. only be so, for uh, the tournament. All right. But so close. Deck is getting stacked. They're acting Ooh, like the professor. everything's oh, permanently Lon Harris coming in strong this season. Like Rachel is not going to stay. Talk about somebody with a mouth on him. Poor Cody Hall. Though Cody did. Is it going to be Cody? Cody did get a perfect thing about this. He got a perfect round that one time. He did. No. <laughs> what? JTE. Wow. JTE and Lon Harris. That's what I love about this. I like this. I haven't JTE. seen in a while. I Come do like. I like this pairing. That's an interesting. Uh, I mean, Lon, Professor Lon, Mayfield Lon, teach. Professor very right. big about grammar and punctuation and, JT, and spelling. And, and JTE, JTE not so yep. much. I've exactly. I've had my uh, share of grievances with the spelling coming uh, late recently. So yeah. I understand the uh, hardship with JTE. I, I, yeah. Not but, to the extent that he does it. But, I was going to say, know, JTE yeah. is way worse. an interesting match. That is a... I'm That's just nice. looking forward. To, I'm looking forward to their interviews. You know, seeing these teams so far, I'm very curious. Uh, we'll continue. We'll, we'll talk later. We'll talk later. Uh, but continue. The teams are staying the way they are. I know. I'm standing firm on this. Are you? Yes. Okay. God damn. You sure. Ooh. Hmm. Dan Merle. That's he's an, doing it. That is an interesting. He's back. That is he's doing the tournament. Interesting name to have bandied about. He's doing now. the tournament. We know about this. He's in the live event. He is in the live event. So now we get to find out who his. Partner, for, partner the live event. for the live event is on September 8th. If you're in Los Angeles, you should uh, you should get a ticket. Um, will not right. be in Los Angeles. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? <clears throat> Otherwise, um, I would be there in a Your name's already called. Yes, it is. Oh. John Roca. Didn't they used to Roca be a team? No, it was Merle. Merle and Riley. They're back. You know? Which hat is better? If I was sitting, is it the is it the baseball hat or the or the the ten gallon hat? We don't know, but be happy they're both with horsemen. That, they've let me, they've let me made stop, peace. Let me stop you right there, because if this is a match, if I was sitting out there watching this, I go, this is crap. 
It's a super team, like we've talked about. That was my whole point of all this, is to stop super team, but that's the point of this. It's We're been doing random. This. It's totally so, random. I, that's what I'm saying. That's why we got wild yeah. berries. Now we got these two. It's a super team. Nothing you can say. I about wouldn't it. call wild, wild berries a super no, I'm team. Saying, but I said, well, we got wild berries and we have a super team. Oh, that's I see. What I mean. <laughs> two ends of the spectrum. Yeah, exactly. I see. Yeah. But yeah. that's yeah. why I am proud of what we created here, and Merle, you should be proud too. Merle Are you and Merle. proud? Yeah. I, I'm happy. Okay. I'm happy. Yeah. I'm happy. Continue. All right. Oh God. What's gonna happen in this cutscene? Oh, there's only two. There's only two. Two left in the hall. So this is it. This is it. Uh, let's see. I don't think that half matters if you switch them around like that. Okay. Uh, All right. Yeah. Former champion, Whoa. Drew McQueenie. He's in the tournament. He Coming wants the off. belt back. Coming off. He that. wants the belt. Look at that. Look at that. It's the last one in the hat. See? I, I see. Bad it. Williams. It's just, it just. Classic oh. Clark Wolf. Clark Wolf. Drew McQueenie. Wow. That was nice. Drew and Clark. Together, you that was acting like his name was Drew. Drew and Look at you. Clark. Look at the smile on That'll your face. Let, let, let me stop you right there. I don't care. I'm in the semifinals for Inner Geekdom because of a tournament that I created. I created oh all this. Okay. If I face them, I'll face them. That's the way it goes. That's the way the delicious cookie crumbles. Yeah. It's a delicious cookie, isn't it? I hope Mike realizes that since he's they're filming all this and he's talking about how okay it is, if he goes into the cutscene and he goes. Yeah, no, that's not going to happen. And everyone's going to be like, oh, it's totally fixed for Mike. And I just hope he doesn't try to do that because he could have fixed it here. Right, and they just yep. cut it out. Congrats. You did a good job. Um, I set you up like that and that's what I get? Mm, okay, congrats. Yeah, congrats. Right. You're doing okay. okay. You're doing okay. Then in the inter you did, you're doing better than I expected. Do you have your envelope? Mm, yeah. good. You're doing great. Thanks. You're doing great in the Intergeek team. I look forward to your match. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I'm really excited. Dude. All right. Yeah. Um, I, I do have one. That's all the teams. Correct, yes. But I do have one final announcement. Uh, Koi was picked to be the manager at the live event, which means Dan, Merle, and John Roca are facing Stacy Howard and Winston Marshall. Oh. With Koi Jandrew as their manager. So you've got Merle, that's, you've got Roca. That's a good way to. Howard, Marshall together as like, the first match who does of it. the team tournament at live the live event. at the live event live in front I of an audience of 350 events. people it's gonna be exciting it's gonna be very exciting mm, can't wait yeah i, I might just, be there i might be there i hope you we'll are see what happens I, I i hope you're there i hope i don't yeah. get booed people, when i get back you won't get booed get, people love get booed. the people you're a man of the people and they love i try well, well, yeah, probably I be that's in it. A so ladies match ladies match these are your 16 teams for the team tournament to recap We've got or Mike wants Bibiani yeah, and Nost, Jason managed by Emma the, Fife. When Riley and Bateman, managed by Tom Dagnito. Stewart and Chandler, pending the outcome of the team title, managed by Markia McCarty. Mm -hmm. Irwin and Janine the Machine, managed by Jay Washington. Kalinowski and Chance Ellison, managed by Ken right, Nassau. Let me look at all these Snyder and Andrako, again. managed by Roxy Stryer. The Wildberries, managed by Ricky Hayberg. Stewart and Chandler, pending the outcome of the Nost, managed by Emma Fife. I'm saying that Riley and Bateman, managed by Tom girls. Dagnito. Stewart and Chandler, pending the outcome of the team title. It be managed by Marquia it McCarty. Be Emma. Irwin and Janine the Machine, managed by Janine. Jay Washington. Kalinowski and Chance in the Ellison, squad, managed think. by Ken Knapsack. Snyder and, and Andrico, managed by Roxy Fife Stryer. Club. The Wild would be Roxy. is managed by Ricky Hayberg. Roxy's Guy and Cushing, pending the team title, managed by Robert Meyer Obviously Burnett. Not Rachel. Howard and Marshall, managed by Corey really Andrew, think it'll be fighting Stacey. off at the live event. Hugh and Seibel, managed by Johnny Laquasto. Zipper and Fouch, managed by Steel Saunders, Maybe. Manson Maybe. Gerber, Atchity and Duralde, Lon Harrison, JTE, Drew McWeeny and Clark Wolf pending the team title, and at the live event, Dan Merle and John Roca. So that's what we have. These are the teams for the Ultimate Schmodown Team Tournament yep. Anarchy Edition, starting at the live event, September 8th, coming to YouTube the following week. Very excited about this. I hope all the teams I'm excited. Are gonna get ready. They gotta. They gotta pick some names. They gotta pick some music. They gotta work together. Figure out what their strengths are. The whole shenanigans. And it's 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 it is anarchy. Oh, poor so, Rachel. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that does it for I today. Hope that she Thanks wins. for watching, and be sure to like and share this video with all the Schmodown fans. And don't forget to join the Movie Trivia Schmodown Facebook page for all the latest updates. And listen to the Schmodown Rundown on Collider Factory this weekend.
How's it going, guys? If you didn't know about the Patreon, you guys have a chance to like support Christian the Schmodown. Now, myself, Mark Ellis, we've taken over the production. They Basically, you guys have 16 tiers to choose from. We're trying to give back to the fans. Games. Go and check it out right there. If you want to support the Schmodown Christian, by sure becoming a patron today, yet. go ahead and do it. Cannot thank you guys enough but, for all the support you've given us. And yeah, there's some really crazy tears in there. I'd love to get your opinions on it. Now, go enjoy the match. Go do it. Okay. It's a good match, for God's sakes. I just zoned out because I'm so tired. I'm so tired. <sighs> okay. Good night. Bye, guys. This will be interesting, but I mean, you already heard me comment on all of it. So. Do I think it's stupid? Yeah, I do. It's an interesting, interesting play, though. Um, I guess I would think it was less stupid if I knew for sure that this wasn't permanent. Because if you break up the Shire Wolves after they've only been together for three matches, well, this will it'll be four by the time they play their title match. But if you break up the Shire Wolves after that, that's so stupid. I think that they can beat Brienne and whoever else, but I also love Brienne, and I think Brienne is a very, very, very strong competitor, but I have no idea who her partner is, and I don't know who it would be. I don't think it'll be Mike, just because she is much more about order, and like she's very organized and very good at her job, and Mike is just about chaos, so... I don't think it'll be Mike, and I honestly, as much as I love Mike, I love Mike, I love Mike, I love Mike, I hope that it's not, just because I don't want that kind of corruption or anarchy with Brienne. That's it. Alright, bye guys, have a great day. Oh.